I'm a glass artist for the last 12 years. I trained at Swansea um, Institute of um, Architectural Stained Glass on Alexander Road. It's um, an internationally renowned art school. Um, the glass school there has been around for hundreds of years. Um, I did a degree in stained glass, uh, finishing in 2001. I've done a lot of um, commissions, uh, personal work, whether they be in churches and uh, private houses for the last sort of five or six years. And then I moved to Bristol five years ago and um, been working in the studio here and also do a lot of teaching as well. Um, I do part time in the shop as well. Creative Glass Guild themselves uh, set up in 1979 um, and they were a small um, uh, studio, um, design studio working on terrariums and windows and that, that developed into having a small scale um, business of supplies on the side. Um, a lot of local artists and hobbyists were looking for somewhere to buy things and that's how it started. A lot of people are doing it on a, a hobbyist basis so it's just doing it for fun. I mean even though we're in a climate of people saying that they're tightening their belts we haven't seen that luckily here. The hobbyist side and the, um, is really buoyant at the moment. We get people in for the courses. That means that that, that generates sh shop business. So our supplies is definitely the forefront of our business at the moment. And then the commissions and the courses are secondary to that. But they all link in together. So they're all supporting each other effectively. In generally for glass artists, it's not the easiest time at the moment. Uh, material costs are more expensive at the moment. Um, there is... Uh, a large sort of um, sort of side fact that Britain no longer has its glass trade, so everything, all the materials are bought in from abroad. America is a large supplier of glass, um, so costs of having to actually import things to you know not like just creative glass. There are other suppliers around, that it's that general cost that unfortunately can't be absorbed by a small place like us, um, you know, and that's having to be transferred to the customer themselves. Um, tradespeople are finding that the costs of lead particularly, because um, the lead prices have gone through the roof lately, that has a, a knock-on effect. So things like that, you know, they're having to control, obviously, the costs um, to make sure that they're having um, profits from their work because you know being a tradesperson you are putting your life your heart and soul into these things and um, if you're not actually getting any money from the after it you've spent all your time on the, the actual cost of the materials it's not going to be worthwhile doing I, I think there are some artists that have been struggling but if you're well known if you're still pushing yourself if you're going out to craft fairs if you're um, you know doing arts trails Bristol is a great place to have, um, there's so many arts trails, there's South Bank, there's um, Art on the Hill, we've just had the other weekend, and they're all great ways of promoting yourself as an artist. Things like that, you really have to push yourself. So being a singular artist myself, I go to all these fairs, I do all these arts trails, because it's the best way of getting myself out. I also obviously promote Creative Glass Guild themselves, because I'm an employer here as well, so it, it makes the best for both worlds.